Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now. With news, the New Zealand dollar is back up to 64.7 cents this morning. This is despite Fitch announcing yesterday afternoon that it was putting New Zealand's foreign currency rating onto a negative outlook from stable, and that there was more than a 50% chance we would be downgraded. Part of the issue here is that the global stock market is feeling a bit chirpier this morning, and that means, because New Zealand is seen as a risky currency, people are willing to take a few risks. Part of the reason for this, Chinese GDP growth out yesterday showing their GDP rose 7.9%. That's close to the key 8% mark that the government's targeting to avoid civil unrest. Also, JP Morgan's profit came out overnight, $2.7 billion, up 36%. Strong result helps the market. The Dow's up 1%. The weak US dollar is helping many exporter stocks there. However, not all good news. CIT, the biggest small business lender in the United States, is close to bankruptcy this morning. The government has decided there that it's going to be allowed to fail, mainly because it's not too big to fail. However, it has a million customers. It will hurt American small businesses badly. And finally, in China, the Rio Tinto scandal is getting worse. Rio Tinto has asked all its staff in China to leave immediately and not to go back. The crisis between Australia and China over this minerals dispute is getting worse. It's a bad sign for New Zealand. Australia is our largest trading partner and depends on that relationship. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 98.9, brought to you in association with ASB.